the American experiment is the way to go. And if we have two American women, Meghan Markle and Oprah Winfrey, who are single-handedly finishing what George Washington and our revolutionary counterparts did, I'm all for it. Okay. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most awkward moments on The View. I am Excuse me. American. Excuse me. You missed me so much. You missed fighting with me. Don't I did not. You miss fighting I did with not me. miss you. But I know Mel and I know he's not a racist. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. For this list, we're looking at the hit daytime talk show's most embarrassing, uncomfortable, and bizarre interactions. And with over two decades on the air, there's a lot to choose from. Let us know which of these picks you found the most cringeworthy in the comments below. Number 10. If you can't handle a fart, you can't handle me. Whoopi does a whoopi. Not just once, but twice. Host Whoopi Goldberg has never let live television blunt the course of nature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> During Claire Dane's appearance on The View in 2011, some unexpected wind sent the audience into hysterics. Serious talk cut short when Goldberg quipped, Excuse me, I'm so differential. I think I just blew a little frog out of there. After another incident, Goldberg explained that she was covering up for an unplanned sound effect, but then unabashedly embraced it. And if you can't handle a fart, you can't handle me. <laughs> it was maybe a little uncomfortable for some at the table, judging from the sheafs of paper being fanned, but she certainly did own it. Number 9. Raven Simone Takes Pause Working as a talk show host is not always an enviable job. No one's perfect and you're bound to misstep, leaving room for what you say to come back to haunt you. Your well, okay, family's but immigration that's what story, most are. Are you a Native American? Why, yes I am. I'm a settler. I'm descended from settlers, not from immigrants. Oh. Host Simone felt the sting firsthand when notorious political commentator Ann Coulter returned to The View in 2015 to promote her latest book. Known for stirring the pot with hateful rhetoric, Coulter came prepared to attack. Simone took the bait, seeking to stamp out Coulter's inflammatory statements on immigration with, My mom taught me when I was younger, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Coulter's response, Well, I'm at least talking about policy. You have a position on what people's names should be. Watermelondria. I mean, you'll insult people for their names. Simone quickly chose silence, realizing it was perhaps her only option. The awkward look on her face says it all. Uh, okay. Number 8. Whoopi Goldberg Defends Mel Gibson In 2010, heinous audio recordings were released of actor Mel Gibson allegedly verbally abusing his then-partner Oksana Grigorieva. It was far from the first time he'd supposedly made discriminating comments, and public response was unanimous in condemning his threatening and racist language. Naturally, it was discussed on The View, with Joy Behar taking a firm buh bye stance on the matter. Give me a break, Mel. You're an anti-Semite, you're a misogynist, and you're a racist. However, co-host Goldberg had her own take to contribute in his defense, arguing that she knew Gibson personally and he wasn't racist. But I know Mel, and I know he's not a racist. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. Standing at complete odds to the reality of his supposed words, this was an awkward statement to make. Behar responded succinctly, saying, Well, that you know, language certainly well, sounded well, racist you know, to me. Number 7. The Miss America Backlash Joy faded quickly after she and co-host Michelle Collins made fun of a Miss America candidate in 2015. Nurse Kelly Johnson, aka Miss Colorado, took to the stage for the talent portion of the pageant to speak passionately about her work with an Alzheimer's patient. What she didn't expect was that heartfelt disclosure would lead to primetime mockery of her wearing a stethoscope. Why does she have a doctor's stethoscope around? Was it about? The backlash was instant, with online users rushing to champion a burgeoning hashtag Nurses Unite movement. Advertisers Johnson & Johnson and Eggland's Best pulled their spots in support. Collins and Behar walked their comments back, with Behar admitting she thought the outfit had been, quote, a costume. You know, one thing, I have to say, one thing that became abundantly clear to me this week was that nurses wear stethoscopes. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. Number 6. Joy Behar Didn't Miss Meghan McCain Ah, the McCain and Behar saga. Soap opera lovers know at some point to expect an evil twin reveal. But no, we used to fight on the air all the time. <laughs> What's that like? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> lovers of The View know it's only a matter of time before McCain and Behar come to, well, metaphorical blows. 
The dissent between these co-hosts ranges from heated disagreements to open insults. Trying to, here's the I, thing. Oh, don't feel bad for oh, me, bitch. I to, hate to do uh, this, okay? Remember when Behar quipped that at least she in the previous conservative seat, Elizabeth Hasselbeck, never fought offstage? Truthfully, we never fought backstage. See, that's the difference. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, in 2021, she decided to get going with a bang. On day two, after McCain returned from maternity leave and suggested Behar had missed her, the latter remarked very plainly that she did not. You missed me so much. You missed fighting with me. Don't I did act not. Like you missed fighting I did with not me. miss you. Awkward. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. That's so rude. Number five, Riel Hunter gets a grilling. Star politician John Edwards found his reputation tarnished with the revelation of his extramarital affair with Hunter in 2008. The presidential hopeful vehemently denied his infidelity and child with the film producer for years, while his wife Elizabeth was battling breast cancer, to which she eventually succumbed. This was publicly unforgivable. Hunter appeared on The View in 2012 to promote her tell-all book, in which she was highly critical of Elizabeth. You have to understand how the public may feel a little bit differently about you. You called her crazy, venomous, fits of rage. You described her behavior as... Um, in denial about her husband's cheating, and you actually blamed her for driving him into the arms of other women. Her angle for a comeback did not go according to plan. I believe that their problems in their marriage did not, yes, help him to, to find another way. With the hosts calmly but pointedly posing awkwardly illuminating questions. I hear everything you're saying, but in your book, you trash a dead lady whose husband you had an affair and a baby with. Did it not occur to you that maybe that might not be the right tone to take? Number four, Star Jones quits live on air. One of the OG hosts of The View, Jones was told that after nine years, her contract would not be renewed. Uh, the show's moving in another direction for its 10th season, and I will not be returning as co-host next year. When she announced her departure in an emotional statement on air, her co-hosts were blindsided by the disclosure, which came two days sooner than planned. I'm going to hold your hands right now because as you might imagine, this, this is might hard, be the sure. hard thing to do, okay? Yeah. This led ABC and Barbara Walters to reference her lack of transparency and bench Jones, effective immediately. So it is becoming uncomfortable for us to pretend that everything is the same at this table and therefore, regrettably, Star will no longer be on this program. In the years since, the network cited diminishing public approval as contributing factors to the decision. After Jones misled viewers about her weight loss and plugged products that she benefited from promoting. Perhaps what was most awkward was Jones's return to The View in 2012. What had happened was your contract was not renewed. She clearly did not want to talk about bygones, but Walters insisted. Yikes. Why did you do Why'd it that you way? Do that? It was ugly. Number three, Joy Behar's Halloween photo. While Behar discussed a New York Times op-ed championing naturally curly hair in 2016, viewers got to see a questionable photo of her from the 1970s. Is that you, Joy? <laughs> oh, you know, this picture. Oh, Joy, was... is that you? Yes. Joy, that is oh, you? Yes. Oh, Joy, are you Wait. black? While it was intended to showcase Behar in all her curly glory, viewers and co-hosts alike were taken aback by her seemingly darker skin. <laughs> Joy. Joy. Behar explained that she was dressed for a Halloween party, which included dark makeup. It was a Halloween party. I went as a beautiful African woman. Oh, yes, you ain't black. But that's my <laughs> hair. Obviously, this led to accusations of blackface. In 2020, this was dredged up again when Kim Klasik referenced the photo to dodge a question from Behar. Is this Joy speaking? The same lied. Joy? The same yes. Joy that yes. paraded around in blackface not too long ago? However you put it, it's just not comfortable. Number two, Whoopi Goldberg and Rosie O'Donnell throw down. The hosts of The View found themselves watching a shouting match between Goldberg and O'Donnell during a Hot Topic segment in 2014. Under discussion was the Obama statement that they'd been mistaken for valets and store attendants. The table entered into fierce conversation, with some believing it was due to lack of attention. O'Donnell, however, argued that this was symptomatic of racism. See, I think a country that elects an African-American president twice, I don't think every and American then a is racist. That doesn't I, allow I, him I, to do I, one thing. I, Goldberg was infuriated, staunch about the country being more layered. The temperature quickly rose. You are a white lady telling me what is racist to you. You don't Same have to be thing. black to know what racism yes, is. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, you do, no, baby. You do yes, you do. The two had added as their shocked co-hosts looked on. 
Goldberg did settle down to explain to viewers that contention is what the show is all about, but O'Donnell was visibly ruffled. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Who will clean your toilets? Our crowning glory is a passionate defense gone so wrong. In 2015, while discussing Donald Trump's lead in the polls, Kelly Osborne made an odious comment rebuking his attitude towards immigrants. If you kick every Latino out of this country, then who is going to be cleaning your toilets, Donald Trump? From the looks on her face and the reaction of her co-hosts, she got the sinking feeling very quickly that what she said was more than misguided. But they Latinos don't, are not only the no, only people No, I didn't mean it like that. that. Come on. Whatever the intention, her words were unnecessary and played to stereotypes about the Latinx community in the United States. It was a moment that was more than uncomfortable, sparking a considerable backlash. Osborne quickly apologized on social media, but it didn't take away the sting. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.